We do have a national opioid epidemic in North America. Overdose death from opioids is mainly from opioid prescriptions, much less from cocaine or heroin. Patients don't know that there are options to treat their pain beside narcotics or opioids. I had been on opioid therapy and medications for over 10 years. I had about nine surgeries. I came here on some 200 milligrams of morphine and 120 milligrams of oxy a day. I was on the fentanyl patch. I was on Percocet many, many years, over 10. And I was told I would probably never get over it. The concept of the clinic is very simple. We welcome the patients who are currently on opioid to our clinic before they have a procedure. Same team would take care of them before surgery, during surgery, and in the clinic after surgery with a concept to wean them down the narcotics. Dr. Hanna, Dr. Speed, Dr. Ronan, they've all been great. With their help, I now am on no narcotics. Dr. Hanna and the pain team have been amazing. My entire life has changed. My family has noticed it. I cannot believe after 10 years of using narcotics, I am now no narcotics. Our goal is to see decrease in patient opioid requirement over time, along with improvement in patient's function and safety. My role in the perioperative pain clinic as a psychiatrist is to diagnose and treat comorbid depression, insomnia, and substance use disorders. And by doing so, I'm able to help tailor a patient's individualized treatment that's unique to their comorbidities and their specific symptoms. My name is Monica. I was on the opioid pain medicine before the surgery for about two years. But with the help of the doctors here, I've been off of the pain medicine for more than a month and I feel great. I'm really happy that I chose to come. It's a unique model that's multidisciplinary, coordinated care that encompasses both outpatient and inpatient care. Patients feel secure that a consistent team will manage their pain throughout the perioperative uh, experience. Just because something like this happens doesn't mean that you can't succeed in life. I decided not to, to let this affect me the way that it really you know, was. I, I'm enjoying life once again. I can spend time with my grandchildren. I would recommend the pain center to anyone. Overall, I'm doing great. I have no pain. It's been such an encouraging to drive two and a half hours to come down here. It's well worth it. She's a different person, but it takes a lot of strength to do what she did, and she did a good job of it. Uh, and finally, this program, a uh, successful launch, was made possible with the support of the departmental chair and the administrative leadership of the Department of Anesthesiology and Critical Care Medicine, Johns Hopkins School of Medicine.